Concerning the budget, joining us to discuss the 2024 budget and Mr. Edun's optimism about reducing reliance on borrowing and increasing revenue is Dr. Femi Ekbeshola, President, Association of Small Business Owners of Nigeria. Good evening, Dr. Femi. Good evening. Thank you for having me. We're really happy that you're able to join us and use now tonight. Is there anything to celebrate about this budget, considering that it seems a bit rushed? Uh, well, um, rush may be relative, relative in the sense that um, by our constitution, uh, the budget is supposed to be passed and signed before the end of the fiscal year. Uh, so having the budget being signed this time before the end of the year, to me, uh, is like resetting the cycle of a budget from January to December, which is right. And I think it's deserved commendation. And that leaves the government with the onus of now seeing to the implementation of the budget to the letter and ensuring that they rely more on revenue and less on borrowing as they have promised. Oh, okay. So the lawmakers increased the budget from 27.5 trillion naira presented by the president in November to 28 to 7 trillion naira, a difference of about 1.2 trillion naira. So what's your take on this? Well, um, if there is need, the legislature has the right to increase the budgets if there is a real need for it. But the question is, who is really asking question on why the budget is being raised, what it is meant for, and who is going to supervise the use of the raised budget? Ordinarily, budgeted, budgets are being spent from taxpayers' money, so the taxpayers need to continually ask questions about budget raise. So uh, I think it is time for us to be more responsive as citizens of the country to be asking more questions. If the budget has a 1.2 trillion extra raise, we should know for certainty what this budget raise is for, how it will be spent, who are the stakeholders that we join government in monitoring the implementation of the race budget and to monitor the uh, effectiveness on review of this budget at the end of the exercise. Then we can actually justify if the race is, is reasonable. Or otherwise. Okay then. Now, the Nigerian government has in recent years relied on advances from the CBN to shore up the budget deficit amid dwindling revenue. I want you, I want you to um, a bit, I mean, join this, the answer with this coming question, which is a bit long, but I know that you'll be able to take the two together. So before the expiration of his tenure, former president, Mohamed Buhari, he requested the Nigerian Senate to approve the securitization of the CBN's 22.7 trillion naira debt by converting it to a 40-year bond. Now, the International Monetary Fund had cautioned about the CBN's use of ways and means to finance the deficit, complicating inflation containment efforts. Now, with President Tinubu, the ways and means has been eliminated by taking the funding that is required from the market, as opposed to the printing of money by the Central Bank of Nigeria. This should be good news to Nigeria, isn't it? Of course it is. Bringing an end to ways and means of raising funds is the best way to go. We have so much resources in this country such that government can always raise enough revenue if they are uh, strategic about it. Uh, it means uh, uh, continuing to widen the tax nets. It means continuing to look at all the ventures that government and Nigeria can diversify into to increase revenue. Mm -hmm. And that's the best way to improve our economy. That's the only way we can continue to uh, attract investors to the country. And we're also optimistic that next year, now that this year, right now that um, Dangote Refinery will also begin to uh, to begin their operations, we will expect to see that uh, more uh, are going to cut down imports and uh, import to the country and have more trade uh, surplus in the country that will be able to cushion some of these reasons why we have uh, ways and means before now. So it's the best way to go and we look forward to having this becoming a part and custom of our budget from now onward. And Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.